So you woke up this morning, just made your fresh cup of joe, and started up your Android Studio project and tried running it on your iOS device. And all of a sudden, you just got hit with this nasty error that CocoaPods is not installed skipping pod installation. This has happened to me consistently throughout over five years of doing Flutter developments. And I'm gonna show you and tell you what are the causes, what is CocoaPods, and how we can exactly fix this. So off the bat, what causes this is usually updates to your Xcode or your Mac OS operating system. Um, dependencies might have been changed or updated in your PubSpec YAML file, as you can see over here. CocoaPods might also be corrupted. Libraries don't get linked properly to your Xcode project. There's a partial gem installation that may have been interrupted. Maybe you started your app and then you hit the big red button when it was doing things between uh, updates on your code. And that is usually uh, the problem. So firstly, I'm gonna explain what CocoaPods is. In Flutter projects, CocoaPods is used to manage the native iOS dependencies for plugins, such as those for Firebase, camera, geolocation, etc. Flutter plugins often rely on native iOS frameworks and CocoaPods ensures these frameworks are downloaded and linked correctly. Without CocoaPods, Flutter cannot link iOS specific dependencies leading to errors when building or running the app on an iOS device or simulator. So this has just happened to me today and I can completely understand the frustration of anyone going through this. So I'm here to give some bread and I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix this error. Firstly, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your system settings and go to general and check if your Mac needs to be upgraded. So mine does, which is also probably explaining the error. You're just gonna to agree to that. Sell your soul over to Apple and we're gonna wait for this to download. After you've updated your Mac operating system, you might wanna head over to here. This will be very important because we're gonna update the command line tool for Xcode. So we can just hit that, sell your soul again. And I'm just gonna go over here and update my account settings. I'm also gonna to go to terms and conditions. And I'm gonna sell my soul absolutely again. I have no time to read that. And that's pretty much that done. What you're also gonna to wanna to do is head over, type in Xcode and see if there are any updates, but mine is already updated. Alternatively, you can go ahead and open Xcode. I've just opened Xcode and there seems to be a few things here that are already ticked. And I'm just gonna go ahead and download and install, making sure that I have free storage on my Mac. I'm gonna type in my desktop password. So this has just popped up, I'm gonna relaunch Xcode. I'm going to hit allow. We are now just going to reopen Android Studio. And we're gonna click allow. We're also gonna open up our iOS simulator. All right, so if you had no updates for Xcode or for your Mac OS, what you're gonna do is you're gonna first delete your app off the simulator. So we're just gonna get a fresh start of this. And the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna run Flutter Upgrade because there may be an issue with Flutter not syncing correctly with your new operating system and Xcode. Once that is done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uninstall CocoaPods because we're just gonna get the latest version. That's pretty much all we're doing. We're just gonna grab the latest version of CocoaPods. We're gonna enter our desktop password hit enter and then what we're going to do is we are going to give that a miss just by hitting enter and we are going to sudo gem install CocoaPods and as you can see we gave it a miss because the latest version isn't showing here and we've just grabbed the latest version as well as one gem was installed. So obviously something there was missing. 
The next step we're going to do is we're going to remove our pod lock file and I'll explain to you exactly why this is okay. So there it has been removed. So why this is safe to do is because these files can be regenerated and here's what happens. This directory contains the downloaded libraries, dependencies managed by CocoaPods for your iOS project. It is essentially a build artifact folder and can be safely deleted. This file locks the specific versions of dependencies to ensure consistency. It can be regenerated when you run pod install. It's safe to do so because when you delete these files, you are essentially cleaning up the dependency setup for your iOS project. Running pod install afterwards will regenerate these files, fetching the correct dependencies and relocking them. After we have removed the pod lock file, we're gonna CD to the iOS. And we always run pod install inside the iOS directory as that's where the pod file resides. Now that we're here, we're gonna run pod install. And we're gonna go back to our main project by cd space dot dots. We're gonna run flutter clean. Next, we're gonna run flutter pub get. And lastly, we're gonna run flutter run. So the app is now successfully started. And there may be some issues when you try rerunning it again. So if I just hit the play button over here, let's see if it causes any errors and if we have to potentially fix this. So this has been building for a very long time. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the app. And I'm going to rerun it again. And there we are. The problem should be resolved. If you had any complications along the way, any further errors, please let me know in the comment section below. I do check my uh, notifications daily and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Have a great day further.